Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys something I came up with to reuse the SEMA motors in another application, or at least the SEMA motor and gear assembly, if you will. So, one of the things that, uh, in messing around with the SEMA, you know, is you might have recalled from an episode way, way, way back, I had my SEMA fly away into the lake, into the drink, and gone. However, I had a bunch of these motor assemblies, and I'm like, these are actually pretty cool. And for a cheap drone assembly, might be pretty interesting to work with. I've got the boards, I've got the motors, I've got the gears, got everything except the housing. Well, actually, I have another housing, but that's a different story. And, However, I'm like, <clears throat> excuse me, how can I use one of these or how can I apply these into, say, different drone models and, and, and take advantage of that? And so what I did is I came up with this housing that you see here that allows uh, one to take the SEMA assembly, slide it in here, and then bolt it in, mount it into place. Now, uh, here's actually one of them that's completed. So you see the, the SEMA prop. I've got another actual 3D printed um, um, top on here. Can't think of what to call it the second that I got off Thingiverse and um, mounted on here. Notice it pins in the bottom. Got some standard mounting holes down here to go into regular brushless uh, assembly and. Uh, you know, have a complete unit here. So this will actually bolt up to most um, br uh, brushless motor uh, quadcopters like the F450, the S500, uh, those type of options. And then we can use the SEMA board and controllers to actually control this. So now I'm going to be doing a, a few more series on this where I actually assemble this. But I wanted to do a video on the actual building of this motor assembly so I, I wanted to do this assembly separately rather than adding it in and and because in a future version I will probably add this directly to say part of a quadcopter however I wanted to also come up with a generic version a number one as a starting place uh, for this and then number two um, as an ability to again bolt this into wherever I want use the SEMA controller boards because they're cheap you know because you can get the motors this gear assembly the props the board um, for well under 50 bucks probably if you really searched it you probably get all this stuff for under 30 bucks print these housings and you can have a printable drone for you know around $30 and again, allows a nice reuse of these these motors. So these are the Night Lion motors, by the way, too. And, and so anyways, um, I thought that was pretty cool and wanted to share this with you guys. Now, I will have the um, STL of this out on Thingiverse. And um, I will also have the OpenSK code over on my OpenSK site. So all the links for that will be below. So if you're interested in doing this, um, hey, go check those out. So anyways, wanted to share that. Watch for some future videos on this where I actually mount this on a quadcopter and build a quadcopter based upon this technology. And we go out and fly it and see what you think. Um, so, hey, anyways, give it a thumbs up. Know this is pretty cool. And we'll see you in the next video. Oh, don't forget the subscribe button coming up over there. Cheers. See you in the next video.